Let me take you back to a time long before the modern era. Even before civilization. Before even humans existed. Before even way before mammals started to dominate. You are to be brought back to an unimaginable 230 million years ago. It is in northern Argentina during the mid-Triassic, and Earth is just recovering from the worst mass extinction of all. The area looks nothing like how it does now, whereas now it is mostly deserts or badlands, it is mostly forests, volcanic floodplains, and rivers with birds and giant horse tails as well as trees growing to a height of over 130 feet. This land is more importantly though the home of some of the earliest true dinosaurs. Predatory ones like this tiny three foot long two foot tall earwrap. This is what this story is about. Eoraptor is clearly not the only dinosaur, let alone only predator, nor the biggest in this environment. There is also 10 foot long, 4 foot tall Herrerasaurus, yet even it was dwarfed by the 25 foot long crocodilian relative Sorosuke who is the king of this realm. Dinosaurs clearly don't rule here. Thanks to the rich vegetation to support the many different herbivores, Sorosuchus and Herrerasaurus have much to choose from. Hyperodapodon is one such prey for some of the large predators in the area to feed on. Hyperodapodon being only around four feet in length, yet sturdily built. Meanwhile, a group of Hyperodapodon have come near the waterfall for a drink as the Sorosuchus lies and waits for the perfect time just after it has come to drink to strike. One of the Hyperodapodon goes to investigate. The chase is on. While the rest of the herd escaped, the one who spotted the Sorosuchus did not make it, unfortunately. The Sorosuchus has had her meal. An Eoraptor, while the Sorosuchus wasn't looking, tries to steal the carcass from her. The Eoraptor is instantly scared off. The Eoraptor would have to try again another time. This Silosuchus, at about the same size as Herrerasaurus, might strike you at first as a theropod, but you would clearly be mistaken, for it is actually a distant relative of Sorosuchus. It is a member of a family of paracrocodilomorphs, called Shuvosauridae. It is stocky, a giant amphibian that can grow to be over three and a half feet long, called Pelorocephalus. Night breaks in over the forest. Tiny creatures that usually cowered in the day 
time are coming out like the tiny two foot long therapsid Chinuquodon, while the Hyperodapidon are free to graze without the fear with any predators to snatch them up. Chinuquodon goes hunting for small insects and lizards. Trouble is brewing in the horizon along the coast as smoke pumps out of a huge volcano. It appears it could erupt at any time. A herd of Ishigualastia passes by the area in order to find a place to settle down temporarily. Nearby, the Sorosuchus rests within the forest. Even when there is large prey around for it to eat, Ishigualastia being around 11 feet long and weighing between 1 to 2 tons, is too big for most predators around to feed on, except for Sorosuchus and Herrerasaurus. That is exactly what this one Herrerasaurus is trying to do. It finds one sick, weak one that couldn't keep up with the rest of the herd. The Herrerasaurus flees as the Sorosuchus steals the carcass from him, knowing that he simply does not stand a chance against it. All of a sudden, huge flashes of lightning causes a mass flood combined with a forest fire, drowning everything in its path. Oh, that's all for what's up to the massacre. 
the volcano had erupted while that was going on. The lava flows over slowly for whatever didn't survive remains are to be well preserved to be discovered later in the future. That was the start of an era.